The eyes of the entire sporting world will be focused on Manny Pacquiao going up against Brandon Rios. We didn't pick an easy fight. There's no such thing as an easy fight at this level. If you're the champion in the world, the best pound for pound fighter in the world, you get to fight everyone and anyone. For the first time in years, people really have questions about Manny Pacquiao, whether or not he is still the same guy, whether or not he can still attain greatness in the ring. I don't know anybody in boxing that thinks that he lost to Timothy Bradley. Hard left hand by Pacquiao down the pipe. Manny Pacquiao loves this kind of fight. Against Marquez, Manny was leading all few scorecards. And walking, aren't you? And there goes the knockdown. If he beat me round by round and then he knocked me out, then we can say I lost my focus, but in every round, I dominate him. But man, he's a realist and he understands that winning and losing is part of the game. It doesn't even bother him that he lost the fight. I'm not afraid of him. No respect to him. I don't got no respect for him. I'm not his friend. He's not my friend. I'm fighting him. His nickname is Bam Bam. He's got kind of a swagger to him. He likes to have fun, but uh, once he gets in the ring, he's deadly. Brandon is younger, stronger, hungrier. We are going to upset not only Manny, but the whole world. We are going for that third loss in a row. You'd be an idiot to write off Brandon Rios, because if Manny Pacquiao has deteriorated even a little bit, it could be a big night for Rios. Brandon Rios, he moved up to 147. He's moving up with the big boys, the big punches now. Let's see how he handles the punch at 147. What I'm going to do this fight is throw a lot of punches and fight toe to toe, keep on coming and fight like there is no tomorrow. For the first time in years, people really have questions about Manny Pacquiao, whether or not he is still the same guy, whether or not he can still attain greatness in the ring, in the level that he had in his greatest fights in the past. One night, this incredible ride that Pacquiao's taken us all on, this devastating, unbeaten streak in the heavier weight classes will come to an end. Can Tim Bradley make tonight that night? I'm offended, frankly, that a lot of people are saying Manny's coming off two straight losses, because I don't know anybody in boxing that thinks that he lost to Timothy Bradley. Hard left hand by Pacquiao down the pipe. It's another straight left hand onto Bradley's jaw. Two big pops for Pacquiao. And if you look at the four criterion for judging a round, effective aggression, clean punching, ring generalship, and defense, he didn't even come close to losing a round. Right hook by Pacquiao. Left hand by Pacquiao. Bradley shouldn't have been in the same ring with him, and Manny proved that. Pacquiao smiles at us ringside and makes eyes as if to say this is fun. He wasn't the same Manny in terms of really being a vicious Manny when the opportunities arose, and he did have some in the early rounds to uh, put Bradley away. Manny seems to be taking the first two minutes off of some rounds, Emmanuel, at least to a certain degree, and then flurrying in the third yes, minute of the round. Yes. I believe that I, I, I'm ahead of points and I'm, I'm leading the points, so I'm taking it easy, not to be uh, too careless. That was a mistake. A lot of people criticize Manny for being too compassionate and not finishing him. And that's one thing Manny needs to get back to, is finishing these opponents. When he hurts him, he's got to finish him. I didn't think it was a particularly close fight. I assumed, like most other people, that Manny had won that fight by a big margin. Jerry Roth scores about 115-113 for Pacquiao. CJ Roth scores it 115-113 for Bradley. And Dwayne Ford scores it 115-113 to the winner by split decision. And new WBO welterweight champion of the world, Timothy. Oh.
I was absolutely stunned when Michael Buffer read those scores. And my first thought was, how could an experienced ring announcer like Michael Buffer really screw up reading the scores? Timothy Bradley has scored an upset split decision victory over Manny Pacquiao. God only knows how. We don't know what to do, but uh, what we're going to do is just accept it. I do my best, but uh, my best wasn't good enough. Did you think you won the fight? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. I thought we won that fight pretty easy, easily. But some, someone rung somewhere, I'm not sure where, uh, but you can point every other direction, but it didn't help anybody. It didn't even help Bradley. So you know what? You probably won the best fight, sorry, sorry, sorry. fight. No, it's a good fight, huh? We fought a very good fight. You know, we just like uh, hugged each other and laughed and uh, said, well, let's get ready for the next one. You know, so there's really nothing we can do about that one. What I told you. Yeah, you told me. Before. I know. I always told you, he's going to run. Yeah, you told me that. He's going to run, huh? I said no. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's going to run. You're yeah, 100%. Huh? I know who to listen to next time. <laughs> <laughs> Pacquiao, Rios, the two most explosive fighters in the world collide. There's nowhere else in sport you'll find greater sheer guts than what these two guys are showing you. This is boxing at its best. Two of boxing's biggest stars clash live. Pacquiao versus Rios, Saturday, November 23rd, live on pay-per-view.